Hello everybody and here we are at Earlham station in the outskirts of Manchester between Manchester and Liverpool. The main line is just to the left of us here. And me and my partner here, Logan, are going to take you around the signalling exhibition today, which they've had an open day. Uh, we've got a time slot box to go and have a look at everything here. And there's quite a few little bits and pieces knocking around the station here. This station until a few years ago was an absolute ruin. So they've done a very good job putting it back as a working pub. Um, and I can see the exhibits right in front of me, which I can't wait to get out and have a look. And we'll see what we can see, yeah? What do you reckon? Mm -hmm. What's the name of that in that locomotive there? What's it called? Can you say it? That name down there, what's it called? Uh, Erlen. Uh, what's the name of the place we're at? Erlen. So do you think that locomotive worked around here? Yeah. Yeah. Look like Daddy's back garden, isn't it? Um, but a little bit bigger. <laughs> Dad? Yes? That's the most snake signals I've ever seen. There's a lot, isn't there? That is one heck of a collection. Don't you dare record me. I'm not recording you. You are. I'm not. I'm looking at the signal. Whatever you Right, go on in. Oh wow, yeah. So again, we've got various artifacts in here that, that, resem that resemble what would have been in a, in a sort of a, a signal box like this. Yeah. Um, this is a 32 framed signal box. Where did you get your frame from? Um, I'm not too sure where, where it actually come. This would have, because this was actually in uh, when we actually picked it up. Uh, ah, so is, right, it might be the original frame from Keithley. Yeah, so, so what happened was, obviously, um, the one at, this, this one at Keithley, the Midland, this is the Midland 2A. Yeah. Okay, 1884, I think, is, yeah. is the date. Windows give it away. Correct, it is actually, because you can see the different style. Yes, yeah. That's the only reason I know that any of them is there's a website that tells you the windows. And you can <laughs> see that they, they, they become, they become more, yeah. Yeah, they're different things on there. So, so what, what basically happened with this particular, it was on the Worth Valley, railway line yes the Leeds and Oxen yeah it was just off the end of their operating Correct. weren't it so what happened when the line was electrified in I think it was 94 yeah it was just kind of moved to a sidings yes and then network rail were trying to uh, basically rid themselves of yeah structures. any liability and such like and this was kind of stuck on the side in a sidings and it then got moved I think another 100 150 yards literally to a side yeah but what was happening all the time is that kids and such like were coming onto the railway track they were throwing they were, they were basically trying yeah. to break it up so we contacted network rail and we realized that this was kind of something similar that would have been on this particular line yeah and we started a the process then by talking to network rail they were happy to uh, sort of let us have it yeah but obviously the problem with it being a a, a, a registered building as it were yes you know, like a, a stage it was a uh, was it listed listed Oh, blimey. Yeah, grade two listed. Oh, yes. So I had to... a, a, a map that would have showed you what this and how it worked, the actual junctions and, and etc. and how this kind of linked in. Um, and we've been very lucky actually. We've, we've teamed up with a, with a chap from Glen Finnan. I don't know if they've ever been up there. Oh, the, the Scottish Museum? Yes. Yes, yeah. So Museum. there's a chap called Nick that we, we deal with. Yes. He's been really instrumental in sort of helping us to sort of bring together the mapping, oh, he managed to go and source some information, put together this map for us, so obviously that's that's something he helped with as well. But interestingly enough, the, the Glen Finnan station, um, when you look at it, it's got, it's it, it's basically, it's got a cafe, it's got a bit of, a, it's got a yes. museum, it's also got a viaduct, and the viaduct on there is the Harry Potter viaduct, yes, yeah. that, that most people refer to. Well, if you, I know it's slightly different, but if you look at Earl, we've got a viaduct, obviously that comes across yeah. from uh, Partington to Carrington across here, We've obviously got the signal box, which obviously again Glen Finnan have as well. We've got a cafe, we've got a museum. So I kind of spoke to them and it started with that really. And I just yeah. got the idea interested. Uh, <laughs> and, he, and he's been, he funny, actually, funny enough, actually, he's actually coming again today from Scotland to see us. Um, but he, he's, he's come down a few times and he's absolutely over the moon with it as well. The kind of work that we've done with it as well. It is a lot well. of work, I'll say that. Um, but he's done quite a lot of research for us as well. So yeah. 
it's been really helpful. But Neil actually, uh, when we constructed these, he literally constructed these based on obviously what we picked up. You can imagine there'd be lots of nuts and bolts all over the place. Yes. He spent a lot of time, Neil, putting these all Getting together. Getting that back together. <laughs> so we put the case in. The case has not actually long been in because we had a couple of signals um, that, that weren't quite right and we were just trying to get them set. So he, he was messing about with a lot of them over time, yeah. you can imagine. Um, so the, we haven't got all 32 fre- uh, signals working. Yes. In a sense, but we will do all the time. Yes, all the time, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, what he's done there, and again, we've just tried to recognise some of the artefacts and that that would have been sort of prevalent in that, in that time. And That's obviously, the bell system is quite interesting because um, that basically would have been a, would have been the main form of communication. So one of those would have been obviously on the line. Yeah. And a, a ding ding, obviously, a bit of a yeah. Morse code type thing, would tell them that there's a train coming out of one junction into another. And that we need to open the lines here and then yep. shut the lines somewhere else. You could do with a pair of, I mean, these are, these are peggers. Do, yeah. do you know a little bit about? A little bit. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. These are peggers, so it's a bit like the front door. Someone knocks at your front yeah. door, you give permission for them to come in. These are giving, that would be giving That's the box it. down there yeah. permission. But likewise, he would have one there to give you permission. Yeah. So he, uh, your, your pegger has the front door lock on it, to yeah. effect, whereas your non pegger doesn't have that on it. Yeah. So you could just do with a pair of blank ones to go next to them now, couldn't you? Yeah. Which I can dare say there'll be some people who'll probably help you there. Yeah, I'm sure there will be, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's interesting that, that like you were kind of controlled, so obviously yeah. you would control Glazebrook East and yeah. coming that way, and then obviously Ernston flicks them that way would do the same for us, I suppose. Um, but it, it, it's when you look at places like your Manchester and you realise how, how big the oh. actual junction is, where they're getting half a dozen trains coming in, going out and so on. Yeah. Where this would have only had a couple of trains coming in, I suppose. And they used to say the optimal distance was a quarter mile between boxes at yeah. one point. And one system had to, over 20,000 signal boxes just on that system. So there were temporary buildings, but yeah. they outlasted their uses. And, and, and obviously, the, the, the biggest issue with them as well, uh, from a health and safety point of view, prior to changes that they made on the railway line as well, there was lots of accidents. Yes, yeah. Uh, well, that, that was one of the reasons. I mean, yeah. your diagram got it. Yes, it has. Yeah. That's one of the reasons that track circuiting came in. Yeah. Before track circuiting, points were just simply protected by fouling bars where the loco, the rodding that went to the points, yeah. that locked the facing points, it had to rise under the train. So if the locomotive was sat on it, you couldn't pull the lever. <laughs> but obviously, railway companies don't like to spend money. So when the Board of Trade at the time decided such and such an accident, you'd have to put another type of signalling in. Well, if you imagine that times 20,000 signal boxes, it's a lot of cost. So they, they did come in slowly. Um, yeah, you got some track circuiting. But again, they very rarely put it in. I mean, protecting some of your home signals you've got. There's one track circuit there, one there, one there. That's it. Yeah. So for the whole of that layout, just one or two track circuits. And, and obviously, like I say, before, you know, everything was electric, electrified, and as it were before, I mean, the, it must have been horrendous. Well, originally, lever locks weren't a thing. I mean, with every lever lock you had, you had more power to it, and then more yeah. controls, more relays, and it goes on and on and on. I mean, those, the, the tyres machines, they're still to this day working up around Buxton. I, I maintain some of them. Right. Great for a, an 18th, 19th century invention, very simple. I like the display, the locking display on the wall, that's good. You don't see that in yeah. many, many museums on display. That's yeah. good, that. Well, Neil would have gone to great lengths too, because obviously yeah. he knows what he, you know, he kind of... It's nicely did. laid out. It's not, it's not too compact. It's nice and spacious. No. Just a load of little, little bits yeah. and pieces on the wall. Come on in. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Uh, everything okay? You got everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fine. Brilliant. Um, the road run uh, if you, is going to be at five o'clock. Five o'clock, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so it's a bit earlier, so... Yeah. So I, I think, think Nick, Nick's okay. coming down from Scotland, I think, so we've told him... That we're going to be here from sort of five, six. Fantastic. Yeah. I just wanted to let you know because I've got sense, I thought it was seven o'clock at first, but yeah. Yeah, it's going to be five. No, no problem. problem. So we're underneath a signal box now. What we're, what we're seeing? Lots and lots of lever locks. So which bits of it? You said you had some bits of original and some bits you've had to had to get. Yeah. So the actual the actual frame and everything from here is it, this is all original. Okay. It's just the actual box itself. Uh, sorry, uh, the base yes. that, that we had to rebuild. Yeah. Um, because, like I say, it was such a bad state. But because we had the footprint of it, yeah. we were able to build you it. You how to that. build it. Yeah. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> we were able to build it. So it's become a bit of a, like a kind of a workshed, if you know what I mean, to a certain extent. But 
obviously everything is linked is linked into to what there is upstairs and what's what's moving in theory should obviously move down yeah. on the rocker side of things but i must admit i I'm limited in yeah. terms of... But you've got some plans to get some of the signals yeah, outside working yeah. off this, which yeah. is which would be nice to see yeah. some of them working yeah. off this. And again, there's some more artefacts here that he's... Ah, that yes, yeah. Side, so. They were the, the earlier version. These are tablet machines. Remember the, the token machine upstairs yeah, you were yeah. showing us? These have giant uh, bars that come through, basically, ah, right. with thousands of combinations of the little ringlets that fit into them. And that's a miniature one, so like the Irish... Is it Irish? Urban Thompson? The, the Irish railways use a, a version of this and to save on power, because most of the signal boxes in Ireland, they, they use hand generators. Oh, right. um, they don't have main supply. So your keys in this, yep. literally, are only about that big. But the funny thing is, they don't actually pick the electric locks. You have a separate key. Ah. So when you take the key out there for the driver, you get this miniature key for your lever. It's your lever, right. That makes sense. A proper tablet machine. Quite a lot of my colleagues have got some of these. Dave, Dave Dolden and Alistair, uh, the chat with them about that. They're getting the bits and pieces to help you right. get that working. Yeah, it's a fantastic amount of stuff. Yeah, like I say, everything from there was just literally the um, the box itself that was just wasn't repairable to me. Yeah. So, uh, but again, the good thing about it, we had a full diagram of what the box looked like. So looked like, was, yeah. It it is so a we, had a work, we had a works shed, obviously. Um, not far from here that we did everything in yeah um, and then obviously we brought it here yeah um, and as part of the heritage rail uh, the national heritage rail they funded the uh, the base that we put the signal box on yeah so that paid that paid for that that's a lot of your um, work isn't it? and that again had to be because of what was underneath we had to make sure that the what did you end up using the woodwork wise because some beautiful bits of absolute wood woodwork engineering here what is that do you know what a wood that is? I'm just trying to think what it would be. It looks a hard wood on the quiet. So there's a lot of work going into it. Yeah, it, it really is. I mean, it, it, the detail and everything, we, we used everything that we could and, and would obviously be longer lasting as well, sort of thing. So, yeah. But in terms of, like I say, the, the specifics in wood and stuff like that, I mean, it's. Yeah. I can see upstairs. You can, that's where the can. holes go through to the levers up yeah. there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. We've even got the original fusing board on the end. Fu where's the fusing board? Down there. That's where all the electrics are. And the relays would have been in here. It's yeah. be all your relay cabinet there. Them big China China fuse holders there. You see them? The big white things. No. No, you're not seeing. <laughs> you see, see where it says distribution board there. Them big metal and China white fuse holders. Yeah. Yes. I mean, these would all be. These are all your your bus bars. These for all your voltages. Oh. Is that what they are? They are. Those, those down there are signal adjusters when you need to tighten the signals up. I saw those. I just didn't know. Do you know what that is? No. You know those detonator places upstairs was on about? No. Extra little indicators. I heard nothing. I was nearly asleep. There's still two of them knocking around on the middle end. Is it really? Did you get up? Did you go You never know who's running the video, would you? <laughs> Go on. So you've already played with that, haven't you? Um, um, I don't know how to control trains, so... Um, I, yeah, I don't know how to. Give me on. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. That, I've got that, it. I've that's got that little calling on arm above you. <laughs> would you like a hand? No, no, I'm you push. okay. Go on, push. You push. You did the pushing. Oh, there that's funny. And that goes off like that. And then put it back down again. Okay, that one's heavier. I'm doing this one. You're doing that one. Ow! Come on then, big pull. No, no. That's, no, no. that's the top arm up there. There's no way I'm doing that. <laughs> Can we? Oh. How about the little middle one. No. Squeeze the handle. You've got to sque squeeze it like that. Yeah. Put your hand on there. Right at the end. Use all your strength. Right. You push. Spider strength. Oh. Push it. Yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. There's a lot of spring in it. Do you want me to hold the spring for you? Um, no, I'm okay. Uh, yeah. Go on, I'll hold the spring, you push. There you go. Oh, 
Yeah. And put it back, go on. That's it. Well done. Would you like me to help you? No, no, I'm okay. And no, I've got a lot of skunk. What's a red one? I give you no. Red one's a signal. Yeah? What's the yellow one? I get no. No? That's a distant. That's a black one. Point. That's a point. So the dis that yellow one would be like that. What's the red one? That distant up there, yeah. The red one would be a signal. So what's that say there? Disc. Wait, wait that disc. That's a little ground signal like that down wait. there. <gasps> and that one, what's this say? What's that say there? Um, signals going down there. Starting. Probably something like that up there. The big red one. Wait, Dad. What's the button one? The is... the little one. Yeah. You work first. Yeah. Calling. Is it calling on? Yes, yeah, calling on. Because no, if you look behind, that? it's yeah, red and white. Uh, and this is a somersault. Do that again. You want to watch it again? Oh, I thought it moved that one as well. It's the arm's slightly different. The arm goes almost like 90 degrees on that one. That one's not uh, not working at the moment. And these, where you have three different routes, that one's the top left one, then the next oh. one, and the next one to the right. I have no clue what Where I go. That's a slotted post signal, so it goes inside Remember the post loader. Let's get a little bit of the um, display boards here. Show the history of the signal box. The They've got the railway seats here. And they've even got the railway door. They have, and they've you got. Better not be even even the, the, the actual in itself has got a lot of history displayed inside and around. It's like a museum. Okay, block instrument. It's like a museum. It is like a very open museum, isn't it? It's a what very do you nice think place. They're doing in the wedding right now? Well, there's a wedding upstairs, isn't there, in the top floor, isn't there? But the gentleman was telling us that in the top floor, there's even more exhibits, isn't there? Yeah? But there's a wedding on there today. I like these there's lights. Look at them lights. Look. I know. All the old signs. Yeah? Some of them, some of them are like wagon plates. And you've got the old s &T one as well, track circuit. That's cool. Yeah, so, so it was an art project. And when it was donated to come here, it was turned from a plaster into a bronze statue. That's what it looks like now. Dad, no offence. Go on. I think they should use that as a bird bath. <laughs> Birds probably are using it as a bath. Dad. Signs everywhere. Dad. Telephone box. Dad. I know, you've seen the telephone box. Yeah. It's an old telephone, isn't it? What? Yeah. Button A's and button B's. It's a busy little place this is, very busy.